is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled action figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive Blood and Guts Dr. Britt Baker DMD figure from Jazzwares. And this figure looks pretty damn good. It is kind of like a re-release slash repaint of the Burt Breaker from AEW and Match Series number one. But I'm excited. You guys know that we did have the Blood and Guts ringside exclusive with Cody and Dustin, that two-pack. And now we have Dr. Britt Baker here with all of her different goods. Really cool looking packaging. You guys can see you have like the ring going on up front. You have Blood and Guts down here. Dr. Britt Baker DMD AEW logo. All of the different ish that you get. It says role model right here. At the top, you still get that same look for the Blood and Guts right there. Ring that exclusive logo over here it's kind of different than the mattel one it's actually like the storm collectible style one over there kind of an old school look on the bottom you do get unrivaled collection on the back you get this wicked shot of Britt baker bleeding her face off aew dynamite st patrick's day slam march 17 2021 rings that exclusive logo blood and guts dr Britt baker dr Britt baker signature on the other side you get another image of dr Britt baker there and then you guys will notice it does say number 61 down here so i guess she's this is the 61st figure i, I don't know what numbers or 60 and 62. Maybe I can somehow remember that one day. But if you guys would like to grab this, this is a ringside exclusive. So if you guys would like to grab it, you have to go over to wrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Whenever you grab figures over there, man, use the priority shipping so that you basically get free fast shipping. Do not use code free ship. It takes a year and a half to get to your door, and it's very frustrating. So use code MDTOYS, select priority shipping. That is the way to do it. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up our packaging for Dr. Britt Baker. So with all that things being said let's go ahead and crack her out of her packaging and here's Dr. Britt Baker DMD out of her packaging. A bloody soaked mess, man. Rare, but just donning the crimson mask, if you will, for this figure. You guys know that Blood and Guts is si kind of like a ringside exclusive series here from Jazzwares and AEW, the Unrivaled Collection. This makes our third Blood and Guts figure, if you count the Cody and Dustin that we got before. But it's just a very interesting take. You know, you don't see this a lot of the times. I know that Mattel tries to keep it very PG. They don't ever really play with the idea of blood. I mean, they don't even give Stone Cold Steve Austin middle fingers. So, you know, I, I I highly doubt that they would do something like this which is something to think about like why can't they give us like an ultimate ed edition stone cold steve austin with middle fingers run through ringside so that therefore you don't have to worry about those casual fans that are you know going to walmart targets and stuff and you know they they see that middle finger and they get offended by it if you put it on the online market then uh, you don't have to buy it you know you don't even have to see it so that would be something that you could play with maybe but we kind of spelled out we kind of went down an old crazy trail there but anyways guys you guys know how this works since she is the only figure here. It's a ringside exclusive. We always give the whole limelight to this exclusive right here. So what we're going to do is dive into Dr. Burt Baker's accessories. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at her figure itself. So getting into Britt Baker's accessories, man, starting out with the head sculpts, you do get a plain head sculpt that does not have any blood on it. And this is nice for, you know, figure collectors who don't want to have the blood. You know, if you if you want to run her regular, you could just switch her Unmatched Series 1 head sculpt on there, you know, if you want to put this one on there as well. Because this one has different makeup and it has different things going on with it, which we're going to take a look at in the comparison shot of the video. But I will say, I wish that this head had the same hairstyle as the bloody heads because I feel like her hair, this hairstyle for her is much more warm more commonly I feel but I like this it looks like it's it, it's printed a lot better than her unmatched figure I think this has better likeness and makeup and stuff so I like this head sculpt I think this is pretty nice we also have the smiling bloody head sculpt and this one's very nice as well you guys can see she's all she's all messed up I mean good god she's donning the crimson mask as we like to say so you get like the smiling head and then you get the more like straight faced look and I like both of them you know I think they have likeness you know her her makeup's kind of smeared there right because she's a bloody soaked mess so there's that but I like it you know it's different you have like the blood soaked hair and stuff going all around i really like the hair sculpt again i wish that the you know the the non-blood head had that but at the end of the day i do like the bloody soaked head sculpts are pretty cool and then we also have a t-shirt accessory it's her role model t-shirt with the bloody face and i i've never seen this shirt in real life so i don't know what it exactly looks like but it says main event role model picture of Britt baker bleeding there dr Britt baker dmd and it feels good it's a lot different than a mattel shirt it's a lot thicker material it feels more quality honestly it doesn't feel like it's going to rip or tear it has has a lot better quality it seems like it does have velcro which is something that i wish we could get away from but you know what we're still in the era of the velcro maybe one day we'll completely rid ourselves of it but there's Britt baker she's looking pretty good blood soaked t-shirt and then she also comes with her gloved hand for her you know for her finishing move or her signature there and she's got her gloved hand so you get the the black gloved hand nothing crazy that's the only interchangeable hand you get so you don't get two gloved hands you get the one obviously so that does it for Britt baker's accessories so starting out with Britt baker at the top of the head skull we already kind of 
kind of took a look at it. Not not a lot to, to go over here, but going down into the into the attire here with the silver and red. Very nice attire. I like the Britt Baker logos and the blacks and the silvers and the reds that you got going on. Nice colorways. It's basically a repaint of her first figure, right? It's it's a slight variation of it. You have the, the silver and red here. You do get the nice collar around the neck there. I always struggle to put these damn head sculpts onto my AEW women's figures. Every interchange, I don't know if it's the long hair or what the deal is, but it's very hard to get on there sometimes. But going around, if you spin it around, you do get the details on the back. You got the nice tooth that ties together the top there. On the back, you do get the Britt Baker logos here with that same logo. You get the scaling type deal with the silver, red, and black. Spinning it around, same look goes to the front. You do get her belly button right there, and it does have, like, again, the articulation on the women's figures, man. We need to have that improved. That They really need to improve it so you get that good app crunch and stuff. Going down into the legs, you do get the nice silver long tights here. No webbing or, you know, stockings or anything up top. You get that same scaling pattern with the silver, black, and red going through. You get the, like, leg sleeves kind of going on in the silver. You do get the tooth detail on the boots with the moon. St I, I, they look like moon boots, right? So I always call them moon boots, but they remind me a lot of basic boots from Mattel, but you actually do get a slight ankle pivot. Not the best ankle pivot, but you, you do get a slight one there. But, I mean, this figure is pretty much her own match series one. So if you've seen that figure, this is basically what you get here, except you don't get the bloody accessories. You don't get the t-shirt and stuff like that. But here is the Britt Baker. And for her comparison, here is the Unmatched Series 1. You guys can see, again, it's just a, a slight paint variation there. Nothing too crazy going on with it. I think it works pretty good. Uh, if you guys would like to pop the head off. God in heaven, why is that so difficult? Oh my God, I almost tore her whole damn hair off. Jesus Christ. Pull that head off. You can put this head over on this Britt Baker. I know the red makeup doesn't necessarily match, but you get a different figure there. So, you know, you can, you can create a different look for your Britt Baker. And then you could actually even put, you know, one of the bloodier head sculpts on there if you wanted to. You could put the bloody head sculpt onto the, uh, not only your ringside exclusive, but you could put the bloody one onto the black attire too from the Unmatched Series 1. But that's pretty cool, man. I like it. I wish they would improve her leg mold. I feel like it's kind of lanky and hard to stand up sometimes. Like, her figures just don't feel the best in hand. They kind of feel a bit janky, but I, I do like Britt Baker a lot. I think she's kind of just the foundation of the women's division. I just hope that they can continue to improve her figures. But that pretty much wraps up our AEW Unrivaled ringside exclusive review on the Blood and Guts Britt Baker figure, man. Uh, really solid figure. You know, not my favorite figure. Not my favorite ringside exclusive ever. I think that it, ne it wasn't necessarily needed. I do like the new head sculpts a lot. I low-key want to repaint one to give it like, you know, that head sculpt, but not bloody. But I feel like we're going to get it in our next Britt Baker figure, man. Wherever they plug her, whether it's the Unrivaled, the Unmatched series, whatever it is, they're going to give her these bloody head sculpts except not bloody. And I want to be around for that because uh, I think those head sculpts are going to look really, really good depending on how they do the makeup and what attire it is. But I do like this a lot. And it's a solid figure overall, man. I think that if you're a completionist, it's obvious to pick it up. If you want all the exclusives, it's obvious to pick it up. But if you have the first Britt Baker, I don't necessarily think this is a, you know, a super duper need. However, I would understand if you want it. I think the head sculpt's great. The shirt's great. And uh, depending on the price point, you may want to grab it. Use code MDTOYS if you'd like to grab it over at Ringside Collectibles because it's the only place you can get it. It's a Ringside exclusive. So, uh, yeah, that's the only way you could get it. So, WrestlingFigures.com use code MDTOYS to save 10%. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my review of AEW Unrivaled Ringside Exclusive Blood and Guts Dr. Britt Baker DMD from Jazzwares. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And do not cross the line like uh, I, I don't free. I don't know, man. Ringside Exclusives, they've kind of been crossing the line to me lately. You cross the line.